The 15th Sunday after Pentecost, Year B, from the Gospel according to Mark, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings this week find Jesus trying to take a break from feeding the hungry and healing the sick. When suddenly this Syrophoenician woman finds him and begs him to cast the demon out of her daughter. Jesus insultingly calls her a little dog, interweaving inter-ethnic tension with economic and gender tension. Jesus is also referring to an age-old cultural phenomenon where the house pets of the wealthy are fed better than the children of the poor. James speaks of the same kind of partiality where the wealthy are given honor where the, while the poor are required to take their seat on the floor. James goes on to show how empty our talk of faith and love can be if we allow our impoverished neighbor to go hungry and naked. If we claim to love our neighbor as ourselves yet allow our neighbor to go hungry, we are like a murderer who points a finger at an adulterer. Both are accountable to judgment. A reading from Proverbs agrees. Faith is about trusting God to provide, whether the gift is that of mercy when the time comes for judgment, or the gift is of provisions when the time comes for generosity. We might well understand Jesus to be identifying the poor as the children to whom food should be given first. The problem is that Jesus was at the end of his proverbial rope. Again and again, he's given and given while being denied the opportunity for rest and privacy until he feels he has nothing more to give. No wonder he snaps when the woman asks him to keep on giving. Have you been there? No, I sure have. At that moment of compassion fatigue, it's we who are poor, running out of faith in the Lord our God who shows goodness to those who are good and to those who are true of heart. At that moment, it is we who are in need of mercy. And mercy is exactly what the Syrophoenician woman gives Jesus in his moment of need. Instead of wielding the rod of anger and accusation or robbing Jesus in his moment of spiritual poverty, she responds with cleverness, giving the God of mercy enough mercy to resume his ministry, healing first her daughter and then the man who is deaf and mute. Let us, likewise, show no partiality, but share every good gift, food, clothing, hearing, and speech, and patience, and rest, with any who are in need of whatever it is that we have. In the name of our God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.